Okay, hi. This is probably going to be the most cringiest first YouTube video there ever was. So, it's, yeah, you already know that it's my first YouTube video. And I'm going to get better quality, and obviously, this setting is not very good. I'm using an iPad to film, and a faucet is my holder for the camera. And I have this uh, for a speaker. And basically, I'm making a YouTube channel because I want to make an Etsy shop for slime. And my YouTube channel is not just going to be for slime specifically. It's going to be like not a gaming channel, but I play games like, I don't know, like Jack Jacksepticeye or something. <laughs> like how he does all different kinds of things. So, uh, I guess I'm going to show off this slime first. You cannot, this will be on the Etsy shop. You cannot see, the, the color is very pale, but it has really pretty sparkles on top. And then the sparkles were dark pink and I put them on the top so you can mix them in. And the color is kind of like the dark, um, Pink is sinking into the light pink, and it looks like kind of like an avalanche slime. So it's gonna be a a, a mini foam because it has mini foam beads, not the big kind of ones, but the really really small ones. So mini foam pink slime, and then I have this Star Wars slime. Let me get it. <laughs> um. It's called Star Wars Slime because it's it's black and it has kind of like yeah it looks like a it's like a marble slime. It's it makes a lot of noise but I have a really bad microphone so you can't hear it all. It is very stretchy. <laughs> Same with all of my slimes. And this one's also soft serve marble slime. The other one was soft serve and it has mini foam beads like that and I'm not going to be touching the um, blue soft serve slime or this pink um, one because uh, it is ready for packaging already and I don't want to upset any people and this um, Star Wars slime is going to come with a few more sparkles in it and it already has like like uh, really magenta pink sparkles in it already but it will come with a mini like little lightsaber too there's that one and then there's a blue one for the dark side and the light side or whatever and this is the blue one it's um kind of like my shirt color almost but a little bit more blue it has red sparkles on the top and it is, I'm opening it. I lied. I lied. It is really soft, this one. It feels almost kind of like a clay slime. Um, and don't worry, like, because when I package them, if it's not stretchy, if it's too liquidy, it will come with a light borax and a, um, a bottle of scented lotion. It will also have... Um, um, a good lotion that it does smell good but it's good for your hands because if you're like me my hands are getting way better but I'm actually allergic to it and I have to use gloves because it hurts my hands and I'm not just saying that because the whole incident I can touch it but I can't play for, t for too long I can like poke it like how I am right now but it's really bad for my hands I just have sensitive skin it's okay I can use gloves and also if you want there will be, I also have coloring, so it will come with it. If you don't like your color, it will come with a few of these, like in the, like primary colors. So you can like take a little toothpick and mix them if you want to make different ones. But it's a mixture, so it will also color f foam beads if you want it to. It was, I watched a video on it too, and it shows uh, how to color your beads your foam beads so they'll get colored too 
So it's acrylic paint with a little water and a little bit of food coloring too. I added a little bit of water paint, watercolor paint because um, I just think it would uh, soak in and I have tried it so it does work. This one's purple with a little bit of gold um, stuck to it still because I used for this yellow popcorn slime. Um, it's mini foam beads soft served popcorn slime. These names though, ooh, that looks like a horrible color on camera. Trust me, it looks actually like a popcorn slime. It just looks like a really pale color. If you go to my Etsy shop, um, I haven't opened it yet because I don't have, um, once I go back to Arizona, or I don't know <laughs> if I'm going back or not yet, but I will be able to open it because we would have time to go to the post office, get stamps, boxes, and um, it will come with extras too. I have this slime bucket. It is, it's, um, I've obviously been making um, doubles of all of these because, um, I didn't show all of them, there's this one too. <laughs> all of them. This one's um, the Star Wars slime. I put a Greek yogurt thing. Don't worry, I cleaned it out. I put, I, it took me three hours to clean it though too. This one is the big uh, popcorn slime and I'm gonna put it in little containers. So that one, there'll be a few others. So if you wanna buy, oh, oh my nails are ruined. <laughs> no more of this. But it's a very big version of it. it mm. <laughs> So, this is the slime. <laughs> I don't know why I'm showing you this. It's just what I keep all of my slimes in. It's really loud. But, yeah, I also found out a new way to make slime. I've uh, looked it up. There's no other people who have used this slime recipe before. It's um, the cornstarch slime. You've heard of that uh, if you know all of the slimes. And I didn't come up with that one. I found a similar one to it, too. So it's I was trying to do uh, that one, cause, but I didn't have cornstarch for some reason, even though everyone has cornstarch. But <laughs> I didn't have cornstarch. But my aunt, she created a chalk stamper. It's her own invention. It's going in a few stores. Um, if you guys want to buy that, I'll leave a link in the description. It's I don't know if it's actually out yet, but please buy it. It's basically a stamper that you put chalk into, chalk powder, and it has a sponge in it. And then when you put it on the ground, it stamps the outline. And it also comes with a few chalk sticks. And she will be updating and adding more, so I hope you would like that if you do want to buy it for your child or if you want it for yourself, which is okay. I don't know. <laughs> Not judging any of you if you want it. It's okay. I, I'm, I'm old and I still use things like that. I have 5,500 stuffed animals in my room. But, so, yeah, and I had a bunch of leftover powder, and I used a little bit of the chalk powder, I added um, some baking soda, and you know how in the recipe you're supposed to use corn, you use cornstarch, of course. I mean dish soap or soap or conditioner. But I added a little bit of dish soap, like it said to, and it worked. So that's my own version of it. Um, if you're going to make better YouTube videos of that, then please give credit to me, not trying to be like that one guy who created the mannequin challenge, follow me. No, not that, just whatever. That was cringe, 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 cringe. But yeah, so I think my friend Chloe has a YouTube channel, but I'm not gonna tell you the name of it until she deletes one of the videos with me in it because it is cringy and it looked really bad. But I'm gonna make another one right now, so bye.